hey y'all we got a day off this weekend so we're heading out to a new spot and do a little bit of video on this spot we got access to it's supposedly really good gold and we're heading out early this morning let's get going all right y'all we've made it a new to the new spot we got access to about an hour and a half drive it's actually not too bad from the house uh we are going to be using the gold claw for a little bit uh the guy right now he's only wanting us to do panning which is perfectly fine uh based on some of the gold he showed me it's panning might be all you need but guys, we're gonna do some test panning with the gold claw and we're gonna see if we can't find a spot to start digging. All right, we've been panning for a little while with the gold claw and I think we finally found a spot. This is about six or seven pans. We found two nice pieces. There is a little bit of flower gold mixed down in with the black sand. I still getting used to washing stuff back with the gold claw but as far as it holding on to the gold while panning it does a pretty good job i've not really found anything in my tailings when i've been checking behind with my garrett pan but guys let's that's a good sign let's do some more panning i think we might break the production pan out a little bit and start running some uh two gallon buckets at a time through a pan and guys while i'm uh slaving away over here digging and filling the gold claw up. My wife has brung her float and is laying in the creek and has got herself tied off to a rock so she don't float away. <laughs> so let's get let her get back to relaxing and we'll get back to digging, y'all. Guys, before before I can even get my first pan, full production pan in the water, I just got done digging. My wife has done fell off her float and rolled into the creek. So she is laying over there soaking wet now where she just rolled off of it. Hey, and I kind of wish we'd have caught that on video cause that would have been funny. <laughs> but guys, we got our first full production pan here. It's piled up over the top a little bit. So we're gonna see how quick we can run through this and see if we see any more gold. All right, y'all, we was able to make it through the pan and the gold claw in like literally 20 seconds for like a half a five-gallon bucket. Uh, so as far as a production pan, it's probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest. But guys, we'll get you over to the pan, and we found a couple more nice pieces just in that one pan full. Uh, only thing about this big pan is, to me, it's hard to separate the gold, but we'll show you what we got. All right, we got most of the sands washed back to the corner. Had two nice chunky pieces and guys a picker already today. A nice little picker. Yeah, I just washed that one piece up there, but guys, we're gonna get this snuffed up and we'll run for a while. Just dump the cons in the, and the cons we dump out of this in the bucket, we'll pan it out with our XP pan and we'll see what we end up getting at the end of the day. But guys, enjoy the video and we'll be showing you a little bit of panning. All right, y'all, we're gonna be handing the camera over to the wife for a second. And she's gonna do a little video of me using the production pan. And you'll see exactly how fast you can go through material on this thing. All right, y'all, we've got a, another full pan here in the production pan. This thing is massive. We've got a half a five gallon bucket in it. We're going to get it down in the water. We're going to shake it back and forth, stratify it. All right, and then we're going to start shaking it and tilting it forward. And guys, don't wear your arms out using these, the pans. Once you get them in the water, aren't that heavy, you can just work your wrist back and forth. All right. We're going to bring it back now. All you do is tilt your pan back, lower it in the water, shake it, 
brings all that dirt back down out of them big riffles. And we're gonna take it down to the small side to finish panning down the pan. And to get down to this point, you can about do it with just one hand, even on the production pan. All right. Go ahead and get that washed out of them riffles. And guys, after, I don't know what, maybe 20 seconds or so, there's your pan. That's all that's left in it. So we're gonna wash that back and we're gonna see if we can show another couple little pieces of gold. But I'll get the camera back on here in a second. All right, it's hard to see with the lighting, but we got one little piece this up in there. We didn't see no chunky pieces in this pan. So now it's just to put in the work for the day and see what we can get at the end. But like I said, we'll get everything down at the end of the day in uh, the SP pan and we'll pan it out and see what we come up with. I'm going to keep running the production pan. My wife, she's got my smaller gold claw now. She's going to start panning with it. And hopefully once we get about a half a five gallon bucket or maybe a half a two gallon bucket, since these don't leave much cons, we'll get all in the XP and we'll call it a day. Guys, a little uh, brief break from panning. My wife's been doing a rock hounding thing and she found her a nice little quartz crystal has been terminated it's not a real sharp point but pretty clear you can tell where it's been broke off from the host rock but anyways into the pocket it goes and back to panning all right guys we're getting down towards the end of the day here we've been panning for what do you say honey about five six hours yeah about five six hours uh we did find a couple of good spots that looked really promising when we was testing. So we've got about a third of a two gallon bucket of cons out of both the gold claw pans. And we're gonna take our XP finishing pan and we're gonna pan them out and see what we got. y'all we're done running all the cons left over from the gold claw pans <laughs> guys the he he wasn't kidding when he said there was some nice nice gold up here let's get you over to the pan and let you see the snuffer dump at the end and this now this is a little bit of gold from where we was test panning too but most of it's from the one spot we finally found and i think we might have found the pay streak first time out guys that's amazing this is probably our best total out panning ever all right y'all ready for this look at that look at the nice chunky pieces in there there's a nice nice picker right there bunch of nice pickers Let's see if we can 
try to attempt to pick one up and drop it without a oh yeah no problem yeah i don't know if you can hear that but you can hear it click another nice picker over here oh yeah yeah guys a couple nice pickers we're gonna get this snuffed back up and as soon as we get to the house we'll get it on this well we'll dry it up then we'll get it on the scales and we'll see what we got for the day but guys i'm amazingly happy with that this is a new spot uh i know we was told there was good gold here and now i believe it i can't wait to get back out here again uh the guy that gave us permission i'd like to thank him so much i know he don't want anything named out and i'm going to respect that and i know he him and his wife was down panning with us today too and as far as I know, they're the only ones that ever really pan down here or do any working on the creek. And they've asked not to be put on video, so I'm trying to was trying to be careful during the video of not panning around a whole lot at, with the camera and see it and getting the rest of the creek in it, and because I didn't want to get them on video. But guys, we'll get back to the house and see what we got. All right, y'all, we're back at the house. We got the gold on the stove right now, drying up. And as soon as it finishes, we'll get over to the scale. All right, y'all, we got the gold dried up and in the on the scale. Guys, our best clean out in a day, all just with a pan. 1.14 grams guys well, guys i'm extremely happy with the new spot and i'm thankful that they're letting us come out there we're definitely going to try to get back out there again uh hopefully in the next couple weeks uh <laughs> i really don't know what to say that's that's just really good from five six hours of panning that's that's crazy that's, that's probably the best ground we've been on. And I'd say we definitely had to find a pay streak when we was going through there. So, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great day and heavy pants.